if you really be honest, people want to go to the service because they want to be seen. They want to see who's there. Oh, we lost John Witherspoon. Was there like a relationship there as far as uh, comedy comedy? Yeah, sure. We were comedy, you know, family. Uh, Spoon and I have been crossing paths for many, many years. Yeah. Um, I was unable to go to the service, but, you know, it's one of the hazards of the business because I'm here in Atlanta filming Coming to America. The service was yesterday. I would have loved to be there. George Wallace just sent me, since we've been sitting here, a bunch of, I told him to get me a program. He said, quit being like old black lady, bring me a program. Bring me a program. <laughs> but he sent me a bunch of video, I mean, pictures and stuff from the service. Yeah. So I'm gonna look at that a little bit more in depthly later. Um, but then again, you know, it's like, what reason do you really want to go to a service? Like, John and our relationship, he knows what it is where he is now, you know? If you really be honest, people want to go to the service because they want to be seen, they want to see who's there. Maybe can, like one of the big networking places in this business is at somebody's funeral. And then you see everybody all at once and you can never get in one place at once. There's a lot of business deals that go down to down funeral. So I'm like, okay, if I went, I'd just be being a looky loo. I don't want to see John in the casket, which unfortunately I already have. Thank you, TZ. Right. But, um, you know, uh, John would work. John would work. He wouldn't yeah. take out work to come to my field. He would work. Yeah. I was working. That's what I do. The best homage to John Witherspoon is just to keep working. Do you, so we talked to a man from the fifth floor, Reginald Ballard, and uh, we talked to him about Bernie Mac's passing. The fifth floor. Yeah. We talked about Bernie Mac's passing, and he felt that Bernie was just overworked to death. I just know that you know, he was very passionate about his work. You know, I, I believe they probably worked him to death because, you know, he was trying to promote um, Was it Mr. 3000? What's his name? Yes, uh, if you don't put the brakes on yourself, your team will work you to death because mm -hmm. you said you want to work. If you can work, let's work you. Plus, they get commish. So they want you to work. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't say, look, I want the week before Thanksgiving off, period, you won't get that. You'll work up to Thanksgiving Day, probably Thanksgiving Day. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you say, if you don't say, I need to be at my daughter's graduation, you would get booked if you are a working entertainer. Yeah. And so, but you also have to be in the position to be able to make those calls. If you're not in the position to make those calls, then you'll look like you just don't want to work or you're being a diva or being some timey, and then, you, you know, you might get dropped by your people. Right.